Hi, Cindy here from The Post and Rail, and this time I'm at Glenis Hughes Garden in Mount Gambier. We're doing a bit of work with artichokes today. Hello, Glenis. Hi, Cindy. This is going to be fun. <laughs> she's got a spade, she's also got a knife for picking stuff, so I'm a bit afraid and will do whatever she tells me to. <laughs> But right now we're going to be looking at this um, artichoke here. Now, Glenys has planted some out the front. She thought she got them all. So we're going to go look at them growing, but she's going to show you how she divides them up, which gives you free plants. So if you've yes. got a plant that comes up. Yep. Okay, so tell us what you're trying to do there, Glenys. What I'm doing, <clears throat> this is an old plant. It's been here for quite a few years. Yep. So it, um, they die off and then they start coming up again and it's the right time of year to divide them up and yes. replant them all, buy them from the nursery and plant right. them. And so I it's the middle of winter, <sighs> yep. yep, that's the time. Because artichoke, globe artichokes, you eat the flower. Yes. So they flower in spring onwards. Right. But these I want shifted from this spot and they need dividing. Well, I can so. hear the roots breaking <laughs> as you're- um... And the weeds. Do you want me to be on the end of that? Are you happy? Uh... No, she's got it. Right. So right. they're the bits that are coming off. Right. And they've got little roots on them. <gasps> they do too. Look at that. Yep. Those ones are no good. But. Oh, you really haven't had to dig down far to get them. <laughs> no. With the root. That's interesting. I obviously didn't get all these out the other week. So um, any bits of roots that l were left when you dug them up have reshot. Have reshot. Yeah. So now's the time to get them. Yeah. So here we are in the front of your house and these are ones you've planted and dug up from your last lot. Oh wow, look at your neat little rows. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm planting them so that I have lots of artichokes so to preserve them because I really like them preserved. Yum. Um, and we're going we're gonna to try some of them later? Yes. Brilliant. So all you do is stick them in. That's it. Bung it in the ground. Yep. Dig a hole. Bury it. And this plot has been fertilised. It looks nice and friable. Yeah, it's got a lot of mulch in it. There was a big gum tree here. Yes. Um, Which... Several years ago, we cut it down and these two plots have had lots of mulch. I also collect all the leaf litter out of the gutters and put that on as well. Right, so, so it looks nice and yep. well drained and rich. So they'll be, so you're expecting. They'll grow about this high. Yes. Um, and... That's four foot in the old measurements. <laughs> which unfortunately like is my that. shoulder height. Um, and in, I harvest them when they're really young. So maybe Cindy can come back later when we harvest some I'd and love clean to. them and preserve them. And eat them. So, and eat them. And if you leave one, they turn out to be a gorgeous flower, don't they? They're like a big purple. Right. So now, as I'm starving, very excited. Always. There's you've marinated some artichokes here that you've yes. grown from yes. your garden. Yes. And you've done here. Now I've been gifted one of these once before, and I must admit <laughs> it didn't get shared with anybody, so no one knew I had it at home. But I've made some sourdough bread which we've toasted. Now show me the magic, Glennis. What are you gonna do? <laughs> We're going to use some Persian feta, which so is a nice soft feta that's in oil. Really young. It's a mixture of vinegar and water and oil, but it's been cooked up and it's got um, other spices. Yeah, you know, I see a peppercorn there and um, there's some fennel in it too. Oh, so, let me just spread those on. But these little things are really good. I use them for the olives. Yes, great idea. I'm going to have to get one of them. <laughs> Chinese shop, I I need more gadgets. I, oh. I never have enough. Uh, I'm the gadget queen. <laughs> there you are. Okay, I just remove oh, that. You can eat the popcorn. Yeah, I've done that before. It's not as much Spread fun. Spread it out a bit. Yes, ma'am. Let's get Sorry. this going. Oh, wow. Just look They're amazing. really soft and they are only the hearts, not the outside part. So, on another day, we'll show you when we pick some. Look at that. That looks delicious. And we're about to eat it. So. I've been happy with that whole half of things that 
thought it would be easy. Easy? easy? I thought it would be easy to no, okay. it in the fingers. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Let's go. Cheers. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, my goodness. I feel like I'm doing a Maggie beer taste test. Okay. <laughs> We're going to smell it first, if we're Maggie. Hmm? Oh, wow. That has captured such a good flavour of the artichoke. Mm. It doesn't spoil it. Um, even though it's got spices and the vinegar, it sort of brings out the flavour and Cindy's eating it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mm. And the sourdough bread is the perfect thing mm. to put it on. Mm. It makes a bruschetta. <laughs> Too much food in my mouth. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I'm not even sorry because this whole one's going. <laughs> mm. okay, now, oh, do another. Um, once they're preserved, I usually do label them. These haven't got labels, but they'll keep for several years. So just make lots and several years. Yeah, that's if Cindy's not here to eat. <laughs> That is absolutely delicious. I put them in a pasta. You could, but, but my husband won't eat them, so I don't. Even better. That's mm. not for you. Yep. More for you, more for yep. me. Yep. But the Persian feta is really lovely. Mm. Um, well, I think we should share that last piece. Uh, you we should... No, you can have it. All right. Luckily, Glennis has asked me back to learn how to make these preserves, so stay tuned.